What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart. I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. This is me fixing my karma, doing my public service, and helping you guys with any confusion that I've created through my sharing of videos in the past. My approach to healing the skin has been very successful and it's based on truth and it's based on refinement and it's based on growing and progressing. Many times in life, I make mistakes and I don't care. Mistakes are great if you're honest about them. When you make mistakes and you're honest about them, it leads to tremendous amount of growth. The video I made about Mark Sisson a few years ago was a big mistake. I was definitely wrong and in today's video, I'm going to tell you why. So first, let me give you a little background about the video that I made. Um, if you want, you can watch it. I have left it up because I, as I said, I'm not ashamed of my mistakes. I'm a human being. I think it's, it's a funny video. I laugh at it and it allows people to see my growth process, which I'm not ashamed of. I'll link that video at the end of this video so you guys can give it a peep. But what the video was about was Mark Sisson. And Mark Sisson, if you don't know him, he uh, runs a daily blog called Mark Sisson's Daily Apple. I believe that's what it's called. And he has been um, on the paleo, high fat, primal diet for the better part of a decade. And if you haven't seen the guy, he's super jacked. He's like close to 70 years old, I think. And he is super fit, muscular, lean, full head of hair, just a good looking dude, but also has a very positive energy. He puts out a lot of information. He works really hard. He's doing some really good things in this world. There was a video that was made about a man who had a heart attack. And even though he had a heart attack, he felt very compelled to go back on the high fat, high protein Mark Sisson approach. Well, this poor man, ended up dying from another heart attack. And this is what led me to make my video in the first place, kind of disputing Mark Sisson's diet. And these are the top three things that I was either misinformed about, miseducated about, or just had a different experience that I had not previously had, so I was ignorant. And these are the three things that led me to making that video in the first place. And now I wanna tell you what my new approach is, what my refined approach is, what my more enlightened approach is, and my thoughts on that. So number one, the one of the main things I had an issue with and that I was super confused about, brainwashed if you will, was cholesterol. I was one of those people that took the vegan propaganda to heart for a while. Why? Because for a while it worked really well for me. And one of the things that they propagandize constantly is that cholesterol is the root of all evil. It destroys your heart, it destroys your brain, it destroys your body. Well, since coming out with that video, debating that, I've changed my diet dramatically. And now I focus on cholesterol. Now many of the people I work with focus on cholesterol. It's a major part of our diets and it's one of the key nutrients that led me to overcoming having horrible teeth issues on my vegan diet, having horrible hormonal issues, having brain fog, all sorts of really bad things were corrected by simply upping my cholesterol drastically. I now understand how wonderfully healing cholesterol is and how needed it is for humans to really thrive. I used to think that high fat diets were hard to digest. I used to think that high fat diets were horrible for the gut because when I experimented with high fat dieting and when I had clients who were experimenting with the high fat dieting, we were doing it vegan. And if you use high fat plant foods, you are going into an extremely, extremely risky situation. With the high fat plant foods, you're looking at lots of seed oils, lots of extremely inflammatory anti-nutrients, hard to digest fiber, there's many, many issues and many, many trigger foods for people that have skin disease, autoimmune issues, and especially gut disorders. The truth is nothing could be further from the truth. A high fat diet consists of the most bioavailable foods there are on the planet, making them the easiest foods to digest on the planet as well. After adopting a high fat, high protein diet myself, I saw absolute dramatic improvements in my overall health, including my gut, 
including my skin, including my teeth, including my hormones, and including my overall just state of mind. My, my ability to think and be clear and be creative was super enhanced. And number three kind of correlates with number two. As a vegan, I hook, line, and sinker that meat, all meat across the board, no matter if it's wild-caught salmon or if it's grass-fed beef, is impossible to detox while you're eating meat. You cannot heal your body while you're eating meat. And I've also found this to be unequivocally not true at all. I have had more healing in the past year and a half to two years while on an animal-focused diet than I ever did in the eight and a half, nine, ten years as a vegan. I can see the data, it's really, really obvious that when people are coming to me and we're starting them off on a program, we're using animal products from the start and the cleansing and the detoxification process has not slowed down one single bit. If I'm being totally honest, compared to the vegan diet, when you use a high fat animal focused diet combined with the cleansing and detoxification, it actually happens the cleansing and the healing happens way faster because you're getting the nutrients you need to build the body. So for those three reasons, I feel really bad about talking crap about Mark Sisson's diet and the poor guy who died from a heart attack that had nothing to do with the diet. I really like his food pyramid. You can check it out on his website and it gives you a really clear and good idea of how to go about eating food in general. So check it out. Also, I have nothing to do with Mark Sisson. Unless he's seen some of my videos, I'm sure he has no idea who I am. I've never interviewed him. He's never interviewed me. I don't have any association with his website or his product. So this is not me getting paid to promote Mr. Buff Mark Sisson. This is me fixing my karma, doing my public service, and helping you guys with any confusion that I've created through my sharing of videos in the past. And I think I'm gonna end the video there today. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Uh, please remember to subscribe and share these videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. You can leave all of your comments and questions down below. For all the ones that are pertinent, I'll do my best to get to them. You can find all of my skin health offerings at holistichealthactivation.com. There you can find my three phases workbook, which is my eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea healing workbook. Um, you can sign up for a private consultation with me. And the other thing you should know about is my Instagram. I'm putting up some information there. I've taken a little break because we're rebranding re and we're about to put a new campaign on Instagram that's gonna blow you guys away. It's gonna be such amazing information. So make sure to go check that out there. I'm Stuart Rob Stewart, and it's gonna be a really exciting next six months in the skin health game. Stay tuned. Much love to all you guys. I'll be back with many more videos probably in the next few days. Bye.